This video is for anybody who didn't use a layer mask in their Photoshop quiz. So if you deleted the background, you didn't add a mask. Um, and so like one of the main things I was assessing was, do you understand how to create a Photoshop mask? And are you getting good at it? Um, so I can't assess that when it looks like you erased the background, uh, probably um, either like magic wanding or like selecting a bunch of things, maybe even just grabbing the straight eraser tool. And I do see you tried to kind of clean up the edges, but it just doesn't look good. Um, and there's a lot of background garbage, which if I go to layer, layer style, and add a stroke, let's make it bright red. Oh, my colors palette's on my second screen. Okay, let's make it bright red and thick. Why is it still gray? Bright red, I said. Okay. Um, and you can see there, like, as I apply a stroke, that there's a lot of weird garbage in the background, and you accidentally deleted a lot of pixels from inside different parts of the microphone. And the stroke isn't something that we would leave there. It's something that I use to try to see, like, if my mask is working correctly. Um, so that lets me know that I've lost a lot of pixels from my selection, and it's not good. Um, so you're going to go over to the original microphone image. Um, and what I recommend is you're going to use the pen tool to draw a path. And you can do this really quick and rough because you can edit it. So I'll do this first. Now I have a path. Um, below the text tool, there's a path selection tool and a direct selection tool. So direct select is kind of like an illustrator where if we needed to move our, our edges, smooth them out, there's also a underneath the pen tool above the text, there's a convert point. So if I wanted to make something round and have handles that should all right now it's got handles go back to my filled in arrow the direct select i think if i hold yeah if i hold all i can adjust like one handle at a time and i can kind of like try to smooth out the path um, but it doesn't need to be perfect and i'll show you why so now i have a path drawn um, over here Next to my layers panel, I also have channels and paths. If for some reason that's not there, go to window, paths, um, because what we're going to do is here's my work path. Right click, make selection. And what that should do is turn my path into marching ants. Did it work? Hello? Hello? Oh, I have, I have two screens, so like I have panels floating up in the air. Okay, so I right clicked to make a selection. And this is the panel that pops up. And um, I'm going to give it like a three pixel feather radius. Why not? And hit OK. And now it's converted it to marching ants. So then I go over to my layers and I click the um, one that looks like a black circle in a white rectangle. It's a frame because I'm adding a layer mask. And that will mask rather than delete the background. Um, all in like one nice step. And because I use a selection, I don't have any weird garbage pixels. Um, if your mask is doing like, it's, if it's reversed, like if the microphone is clear and the background is visible, um, make sure that these little white bars here are around the mask. So right now I'm editing the pixels of the photo. Right now I'm editing the mask. White frame around the photo, I'm editing the photo. White frame around the mask, I'm editing the mask. So with the mask selected, you can hit control I and it will invert your mask. Um, so I'm in the mask and now what I can do is I can use my, um, I can make more selections. So like, let's say you really like the lasso tool and you wanna use the lasso to smooth this out. You can, um, I'm gonna hit control D. Uh, I don't like the lasso tool. I feel like I have a hard time with it, um, but you can make a new selection. And as long as you're in the mask, you can use a black fill bucket to hide things or a white fill bucket to reveal things, control D. And the same thing with the paintbrush, uh, you can use a black paintbrush to hide things and a white paintbrush to reveal things. And so that can give you a good opportunity to clean up your edges. 